Okay, so in constructing our mouse theremin, I know this doesn't look like much yet, but this is sort of the basis of our sound generating um, part of our mouse theremin. We're going to be able to generate a sine tone and control it from the outside, trigger it, as well as um, control its pitch and its amplitude from uh, somewhere outside, which we'll get to. All right, so this final, hopefully fairly short tutorial, really is just to just to sort of clean things up and explain a little bit about boot order. All right. So if I'm if I'm running this code and sort of getting it ready, a lot of these things are just really going to run in the background and wait for some messages from the outside through this OC defs. Okay. But we still have to sort of have a sort of order of booting. So um, uh, oftentimes I'll number them or whatever. I do that in the original code there. You can see the the one two threes. And such, and there's different ways of setting it up, so you can just run it all like more of a a typical programming environment where you just compile everything and you run it, you know, and it does everything, and you have to put things in certain places uh, for it to run in a certain order. In this case, I'm just going to manually sort of execute certain things. So the first thing I have to do is boot the server, so that'll be in my number one. So if I recompile for a minute, just like if I just started up the program. I would do that and I would wait for it to boot up. There's also a handy little thing uh, called uh, s dot wait for boot. Okay. And then you just put a f in, you put everything that you want run after the boot in, in a function. Okay. So that would the op uh, start curlies and then the close curlies. But we, we won't worry about some more complex things like that for now. We're just boot it manually, which I did. The next bit I want is I want to set all these defs and my synth def to the server. These are all things that sit on the server and wait for things to happen. Remember, this is like a blueprint. It's just a definition. It's not actually making any sound or doing anything. Same with these. They aren't actually engaging and doing anything until they receive their constituent uh, names. Okay, So we can run all that at once after the thing is booted. So I'm going to put this, these open parentheses, close parentheses, these two, so so that I can run all these at the same time. I can just put my cursor anywhere between the two uh, parentheses, and it'll evaluate everything with inside it uh, at the same time. So I'll do that, and then I can evaluate all of those. And you see that it all highlights everything gets evaluated. And again, they're not actually doing anything, so there's no necessarily a boot order. Now the reason I left this thing out is because this needs a synth def before it can be run so I'm gonna have that as a third a third um, thing to run alright so once my synth def has gone then I can actually run the thing but let's not let's keep it the trigger to zero so I get rid of that I don't even need the pitch so I'll just say MIDI sign we'll just use all the defaults there okay and that's gonna run there so now no sound nothing's going no sound really because our remember our envelope trigger is zero. So until we do empty dot set one, nothing will sound. Okay. But uh, here's a thing you can do s dot query all nodes just to show that it's running here. MIDI sign is, is just in there running. It's just not making any sound because the envelope's down. All right. So this is will set us up just showing you the boot order. This will set us up to be to have the sine wave ready to be controlled through these OSC things, and that'll be our next step, um, a next sort of set of tutorials in building a, an interface for our um, mouse theremin.